Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're going to try to use the mini jetter to clean the 18 inch culvert drain. Let's take a look. The problem with most culverts, you know, this is going under the drive, right? Is that we might be able to clean the culvert, but you can see how low it is. And what happens is the dirt and the sod, whatever, it gets backed up over time. And it really would need to be dug out all the way to the next culvert. But let's just see if we can clean this. And we started by taking the shovel. You see the shovel? And we're gonna, we cleaned out as much as we could with the shovel. And now we're gonna fire up the jetter. So you can see that it is open, but there's a lot of debris back there. Let's see if we can't clean that out. This is an 18 inch galvanized steel culvert. And you notice that it's cut at a 30 degree angle. And there's also concrete placed around the side. That's code here. Uh, almost everywhere in Florida, you're gonna find the same code. It could be ADS pipe, it doesn't have to be corrugated, could be concrete, but it must be cut at a 30 degree angle and there must be concrete put around about two feet on both sides of the culvert. There also must be sod alongside of the culvert. These are just the codes. So if you remember how the mini jet works, it has a, a cutter nozzle. It has a, a very strong jet that's right in the front, one jet and it cuts through the sand and debris. And then there's four more nozzles at the rear of it that pull the water backwards. And you can see as that jet goes through there, you can see it's pulling all that debris out. And I'm pretty sure we'll get this open here in just a few minutes. This is a really great project for the do-it-yourselfer if you've got a culvert going under your driveway and you just need your pressure washer and you can order that little mini jet on Amazon or someplace. They're only like six or seven bucks and then you need to have the hose to go with that. Um, we use a 100 foot hose, but you could order a 50 foot hose. It's 3 eighths of an inch and it really builds up the pressure. It works really good. I'm surprised how well it works inside of this huge pipe. This mini jet's designed to clean much smaller pipes. So with just a few passes going through this culvert, we're able to clean this thing out. We do need to go to the other side and also pull that debris back the other direction. And as soon as we get this jet to come through there, we'll move to the other side. You can really see this jet working. You see all the spray coming back through here. It is a little bit more work in the larger pipe. Usually we run this down through the micro channel drain, the pool deck drain around the lanai, around the swimming pool. the other side so I'm going to pull it back so over here on the other side you can see we came all the way through we need to dig this side out but it definitely opened that line up I don't know if you can see through there but yeah this can do it so we'll come and clean this side out too before I go to the other side I'll make a few more passes here but you can see how how clean that culvert is already and the water is just pouring out of there Remember that it is kind of blocked because the soil is higher than the culvert and we'll need to dig that out for proper drainage. So just like we did on the other side, you've got to start by cleaning out the opening of the culvert. This could be done with the shovel. It doesn't take much. You just need to get as much out of there as possible before you put the jetter down in. This is a really great project for the do-it-yourselfer and truly save yourself five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars depending on who comes out to clean that culvert.
So you can see it's actually pretty open. I see just one spot right there in the center. If I can get that jetter down there, this will be wide open. So if you remember, there in the middle of the culvert, there was a small mound of soil. And there's probably something going on there. And I'll bet you that this galvanized pipe has rusted and it's allowing, it's probably heaved up right there. So I, what I've got to do, and what you have to do if you're going to do it yourself, is you have to repeatedly pull that mini jet back and forth through that area to knock down that pile. The jets will pull out the debris, that's not a problem. But because it's such a large pipe, it takes several passes of the mini jet to break down that pile and pull out that debris. So you can see it's knocking it down and just a few more passes will have that all cleaned out. But like I said, the real problem is out here. You can see that where I'm sitting is higher than the culvert because over the years, you know, or whatever, all the dirt has come down and all the sod build up over here. So it really needs to get dug out so that it can drain. But you know what? This has got to be one of the best projects for the do-it-yourselfer. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.